Today I'm gonna share with you my top 10 most underrated or ignored hotspots on the Hunter Call of the Wild. These are all those hotspots that are good and some of them even great but that are often ignored for whatever reason. These spots are in no particular order. The first hotspot that a lot of people ignore is this eastern coast on Leighton Lake. This part of the coast in particular. It is one of the best spots for whitetail jackrabbit. And the vast majority of people never go there. I mean, this spot is unexplored on almost every server. It's also a decent spot for whitetail deer, and you will also find some blacktail and some roosevelt elk. But the species that is really present here is the whitetail jackrabbit. It's a very dense area, but there are lots of them. As you can see here, we have an albino female. If you don't have a time on whitetail jackrabbit yet, definitely check this spot, especially this part of the coast. It's very easy to spot the rabbits here, and I've gotten like 3 or 4 diamonds on this exact same location. Now here on Leighton there's also another very good spot for coyote, which not many people know, and that is up here. It is actually a very good spot where many people have gotten diamonds. You know, if you go there at night, there's a very good chance that you find at least one max estimate. We also have this lake which is more famous but is still ignored by a lot of people. And that's basically because it's quite far from the nearest outpost, but it's one of the best locations to get a diamond blacktail. Now we are on Parque Fernando and I'm gonna show you two spots that are extremely neglected, even though they are good. The first one is this lake down here. It's a very good spot to find big black box, pumas and red deer. It is completely unexplored on almost every server, and probably for the same reason as the last one that is quite far from the nearest outpost, but I think it's worth checking. The other ignored spot on this map is this location down here. It is a great spot for mule deer, there are usually like two big hairs right there, and this is the perfect example actually, you can see all these zones right here, but for some reason this spot remains unexplored on almost every map. Actually this is where I got my last diamond mule deer on this map and I know people that have gotten two diamonds on that spot back to back. So it's definitely a good location. The third ignore spot is down here on Rancho del Arroyo. And I understand why because the only way to see the animals that are there is to get far from the outpost first because it is actually too close to the zone so the only way to spawn those animals is to get to at least 200 meters away from the outpost. Then you can go and you'll see some pheasants, a good amount of rabbits and some coyotes too. I've seen many max estimate tracks on this area. No diamonds yet but many max estimates. Apart from here, this area is also kind of underrated. Up here is not, but down here is kinda ignored. That's the same case for this area, which is a great location for turkeys and for antelope jack rabbits. Along this road is also a great spot. Then here is very good for coyotes, including this pond and this lake. Great for coyote and bighorn. You will also find more rabbits down here. Alright, the spot number 4 is here on Boronga Sabana, and it is this lake right here. And you know, this location is more famous than the other ones, however, it is still very ignored by a lot of players. It is among the top 3 best locations to hunt Gensbok, also Jackal and Warhawk, and it is also great for wildebeest at their drink time. A good thing is that a lot of these animals have their feet zones close to the lake, so you can come here at many different times. Honestly, I don't know the exact reason why players ignore this lake. I mean, it should be a lot more visited. Most players usually check this lake first, which is the best one. Then they go here, which is a very good spot too. And then they check these lakes, which are not as good. And this spot just remains unexplored forever on some servers. As well as this area, which is also decent. Then, apart from this location, another spot that is very good is right here, on this area you'll find a lot of warhawks, buffaloes and scrub hair. It is also ignored a lot of times and it's actually very easy to get there because there's an outpost so I mean it's very easy. This lake up here is also very good for warhawk and springbok, it is also very ignored and well these are all the underrated hotspots I know on this map. Ok, on Silverish Peaks there's this location which is very good for rocky monan elk and for monan lion. And the good thing is that it's unexplored on almost every map. I've gotten one diamond rocky here and like three monan lions, so it's a very decent spot that a lot of people ignore. That guy just got a diamond, which is awesome. 
And well of course the best time to come here is on the morning, the only thing is that the mountain lions will keep spooking the elks. But you can still check this spot at their feed time, I mean it's easy to find the feed zones, they are usually close to a lake, so definitely I recommend you to come here more often. The next on the red location is here on Herschelden. It starts around here, then it continues up here and it finishes on this area. It is a great location for red deer, good for wild boar and decent for bison. You can start on this outpost and then you do this route. You will find plenty of tracks on the morning. If you start at 5 in the morning, that will be ideal. Even though I have gotten only one diamond here, I've seen plenty of max estimates on this location especially red deer, so it's definitely a spot that deserves more attention. Another often ignored spot here on Herschelden are these fields, these are very good for multiple animals, then this whole spriver location is very good, all these lakes, I mean roe deer, bison, fallow deer, red fox, red deer, even some pigs, up here is also very good for red deer and roe deer, then down here on these fields is one of the best locations to get a time on red fox. It is also very good for roe deer and fallow deer. All these spots are often ignored and they are very good. The spot number 7 is here on the Awaroa. And this is great specifically to hunt chami. One is this pond which is loaded with them. And the other one is this lake right here. Which is very close to an outpost and that's the problem with it because it doesn't let the animals spawn. So what you need to do is to get far from the outpost. And you can do that by going to the left side of the lake. Otherwise you won't be able to see anything. As you can see it's empty. So you need to go to the left side. And once you are there you will start to see all those chummy. This is a great place to get a diamond. On this map there is also another little spot which is unexplored on a lot of maps. And it is right here. It's not the biggest spot, but you will find some cicadir and some feral pig too. Actually here is where I found my only albino cicadir. So I definitely think it's worth checking. Now I'm gonna show you the spot number 8, or actually a few spots here on Yokon Valley. Basically these two lakes up here I think are kinda ignored. These are very good for grey wolf, also very good for fox and for caribou. These are not as popular as other spots, but they are still decent lakes, especially the one on the left. We also have another very decent location for bison and caribou, which I think there's a good chance you never check. And that is this little lake right here. It's a bit far from the nearest outpost, so that might be the reason why not many people go there. Another hotspot that is ignored out of times and is relatively easy to check is this lower part of the river. Very decent spot for grizzly bear and for moose. Then up here this spot is very good to hunt bears actually, also some moose and caribou, and well that's it for this map. On Cuatro Colinas we got this area. Almost no one goes there and it is a good spot. It is good for BCT ibex, wild boar, roe deer and also for European hare. Mufflon too actually. We also have this lake which is I'm pretty sure the only lake with two different ibex species. You can find BCT ibex and Ronda ibex as well as a bunch of other species. Definitely a good lake. The last spot is here on Medved Taiga. In fact there are a bunch of ignored spots on this map. And in case you didn't know, there are 5 hidden lakes. These lakes are not as easy to see on the map. And I guess that's why many people ignore them because there's one lake in particular. This lake right here. It is really really good. It has moss deer, reindeer and unfortunately only female brown bears. But it's very good for the other two species. And I don't know why people start here and then they go directly to this lake which is also very good. But they just keep this little lake which is a very good lake. Probably as good as this one. I see this over and over on servers so I guess it's because they don't know it's there. We also have this, what I think is a frozen river. It is also a very good place to find pretty much every single species on this map. These two lakes up here are also very ignored and they are good for brown bear. Certainly it doesn't have a lot of them but it's really easy to check it. And well these are all the spots for this video. And as many people say, a lot of times you find diamonds on the places you never go. So who knows, it could be on one of these spots. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more. With that said, thanks for watching and see you next time.